this is the area where we're staying in Adu. Uh, we're staying in the chalets. Um, I'm gonna show you the inside. So yeah, morning people. So it's our first day in Addo. Uh, we just left, it's uh, just after six. Oh, so sleepy, but um, anyway, made it up. So I had a, bit of, a cup of coffee and um, we just got on our first trail. Uh, it is cloudy over here. Just give you a quick update on what the sky looks like. It's quite cloudy, but it's a beautiful morning. And um, yeah, we'll take you with us and see how the day progress. Hopefully we see some some elephants, we're lucky a lion. Um, yeah, I think lion is our big big thing we really want to see this time. We've been here before um didn't see a lion but um yeah maybe we'll a be, leopard. Maybe a leopard. So anyway, uh, just also Eric just say hello to the people. Hello. So anyway, enjoy. currently here at a viewing site I think it's called Domkrach and yeah no animals unfortunately one of the nice things that I always liked about the or like about Addo is that there's a lot of spec bonds just maybe as you can see on the on the board what type of animals to be aware of uh, that, and they, they also roam freely the best of all but not the least beware of the lions and yeah well we haven't heard or seen anything so I think we we're kind of fine for now so anyway chat <music> Lookout point called is it Zierkop? Zierkop. You can see it's beautiful from here. This is quite a nice surprise. 
I had almost skipped the beat now. It was right in front of us. Whew. I didn't see that one. I saw the other one that's actually walking on the other side. My God. Okay. Yeah, this was a good sighting. Yeah. Okay. Cool. the famous dung beetles of Adu. They use the dung of the elephants for food as well as um, I think for breeding purposes and so forth. Um, they are as far as I know endangered and they only um, basically mostly appear in the Adu elephant park where they survive because of all the elephants that's still here. standing so also enjoying a snack early morning snack Just after seven now, early morning, crisp, cold morning. Um, we at Jack's picnic site here in Addo Elephant Park. Um, we probably drove about 15 kilometers to get here. And it's uh, a full 15 degrees as well, freezing. No, it's not really freezing, it's just crisp morning. And um, yeah, so we decided to have a little bit of a stop here for breakfast. Um, let me show you some picnic. Uh, some pretty trow and then I packed a picnic basket with some yogurt and some apples and some snacks in there as well. Um, the picnic site is very nice, it's got um, nice facilities and even some braai facilities here and there's some toilets and so forth. Morning and um, it, as far as I know the, the name Jack, Jack picnic site is from a, a rhino that used to um, it used to be a spot and it used to be a lot and um, I think the rhino is uh, already deceased now but yeah, it, 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 the picnic site was named after him. Uh, we've got some little birds running around here as well. This, this is a southern bobo. They are catching little insects and stuff here. Not afraid of us at all.
morning. This is our third day here at Adu. Um, I think um, people might be interested to see how the main camp look like. There are um, there's a restaurant here. Um, it's a cattle baron. There's a cafe or a shop that's stocked with basic necessities, and then lots of um, trinkets and tourists. You know. Um, uh, there's also a gas station or petrol station. Yeah, and then other they've got a information center. They've got some um, educational um, stuff here as well. They've got a bird hide and an animal hide as well, and a picnic area. So all in all, quite a nice spot. The main camp. Um, there's a lot of um, facilities here. Um, I'm going to walk around and show you.